A young girl studying in a religious school starts doubting her faith after learning about the joy of intimacy. We'll see what happens next in today's recap of the film Yes God Yes. Make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one. Now let's get on with the video. The film starts in a highly religious Catholic high school, where a teacher is telling a student to go to the principal's office, even for the smallest mistake. The teacher, however, likes Alice's behavior and asks her to be the gift bearer during the afternoon mass. Alice's first class is about sexuality, where Father Murphy tells the students that it is against the will of God to make love to someone outside of marriage. He says any other intimate activities, including pleasuring yourself, can condemn you to hell for all of eternity. Alice tells her friend Laura that apparently it's a sin to touch yourself. Laura is as religious as they get, so she agrees with Murphy's views. Alice goes home that day and feeds her dog before getting some snacks for herself. After that, she joins an online chat room to play word scrabble games. This is when one of the users sends her an email. Alice reluctantly opens it and immediately regrets her decision, because there are some pictures of men and women. She knows it's a sin to watch those pictures, but she is also curious, so she opens them once again. Out of nowhere, the guy sends her a direct message, asking her to show him her picture. Alice sends him a picture of her classmate and lies about her age and location. The guy is clearly turned on, and he starts sending her lewd messages, but Alice doesn't understand many of them. This is when the guy tells her to touch herself. Alice does so, and this is when she learns how good it feels. Alice spends the weekend going to church while thinking about that conversation. The next day, she is getting into Laura's car when a guy tells her that there's a rumor going around that Alice and her classmate Wade are getting intimate at a party. Alice says that's a lie, but most people at the school believe the rumor and are making fun of Alice. One of the girls even tells Alice to avoid such rumors because they can ruin her image. She also tells Alice to go on a camping trip, organized by the school where she can learn the true meaning of religion. Laura thinks the trip can be fun and she's eager to join, but Alice isn't so sure. That afternoon, she goes to the mass and this is when she learns that even her teacher believes the rumor about her and Wade. This disturbs her and when she goes for her weekly confession, she decides to not talk about everything that happened during that chat room conversation. However, she feels bad about it and prays to God to forgive her. She doesn't want to go to hell, so she decides to go on that camping trip to reconnect with God. Laura is also accompanying her, and as soon as they reach their destination, Alice notices a guy named Chris who's apparently a star football player. Chris excites her, and she dreams about touching his hairy forearms. She's jolted away from her daydreams when a girl named Nina tells her that they're gonna be roommates for the trip. So Alice follows Nina to a cabin, where Nina tells her to give up her watch and phone. Alice thinks about it and decides to hide her phone instead of giving it up. That afternoon, they all attend a meeting where Murphy tells them to mark what they have been feeling for the last couple of months on paper. Alice starts marking her feelings, and she encircles the word turned on without even realizing what it means. When she figures it out, she tries to erase it, but it's too late, and she has to give up the paper. During lunch, Chris comes up to her and asks her how she's been doing. He tells her that even though she might find the whole thing weird, she will come to like it eventually. That evening, the students are asked to share their feelings, and this is when Nina goes on stage and explains how her family has always neglected her. She felt lonely all her life, but in this camp, she learned what it means to be happy. Everyone, including Alice, feels emotional after hearing this story. At night, Alice passes time by playing a game on her phone. She decides to put it on silent so that it doesn't alert anyone. When she tries to play the game again, the phone vibrates and it makes her feel something. She likes the or feeling, so she uses the phone to excite herself all night. The next day starts with students singing Catholic songs. After that, they go for a walk in the woods and this is when Alice watches as Chris helps a girl after she falls down. This gives Alice an idea and she intentionally trips and hurts herself. Chris quickly comes to her rescue and picks her up in his arms to take her back to the infirmary. In the afternoon, Nina comes into Alice's room to check up on her, but this is when she hears the vibration from the phone. She eventually finds the phone and decides to tell Father Murphy about it. Students, later on, 
gather for a group photo, after which Father Murphy tells Alice that she has to help with cleaning activities to repent for her lie. So Alice spends the evening cleaning trash from around the facility. She is putting back the cleaning supplies into the closet when she notices a computer. After making sure that no one is around, she turns it on and goes back to the chat room. This time she meets someone who's interested in men, and he starts sending her some filthy messages. Alice is trying to figure out what they mean when she hears someone outside. She instantly turns off the computer and leaves the room. Outside, she finds Nina, who says that she isn't mad about the phone, and she would still like to help Alice have a good time. That night, Father Murphy reads the letter from the parents. Laura starts crying after hearing some nice words from her dad, but Alice feels extra pressure put on her when Murphy reads a letter from her father. The next morning, Alice is meeting with Chris and others for a special group where they can discuss their traumas. The other students talk about their breakups and the deaths of their family members. Alice doesn't have such a sob story, so she makes one up by saying that her dog died after eating some poison and it really messed her up. During breakfast that day, Murphy tells the students that someone was using his computer for an inappropriate chat, and he wants the culprit to come out and repent before God. Obviously, no one comes out, but that day Murphy is asking the students about their feelings, and Alice has to meet him. He asks her if she ever indulged in some inappropriate activity, but Alice denies it. He asks about Wade, and Alice says it's just a rumor started by students, but Murphy doesn't believe her. After the meeting, Alice is collecting wood with Chris when she notices Wade looking weirdly at her. After lunch, Alice goes back to her cleaning duty, and this is when she comes across Wade. She tells him that since he knows nothing happened between them, he should clear the rumor by telling everyone the truth. But for some reason, Wade doesn't want to help her. After he leaves, Alice notices that he threw his bracelet in the trash, and she picks it up. She's later cleaning the kitchen when she sees Nina making out with a guy outside. When they start doing more than just kissing, Alice gets excited and she uses a broom to please herself. She then immediately goes to Laura and tells her what Nina is doing, but Laura thinks that Alice is a pathological liar and she even believes that Alice was the one who used the computer. After getting no help from her friend, Alice goes back to cleaning. She decides to take revenge on Wade, so she places his bracelet under Murphy's computer. But Murphy is coming, so she has to hide inside the closet. While hiding, she notices that Murphy is watching a video while touching himself. This sight disturbs her, and she is trying to clear her head when Chris asks her what's wrong. Instead of telling him the truth, Alice starts kissing him, but Chris doesn't like that. Alice's day has been getting from bad to worse, and she loses it after watching all these hypocritical people singing songs about Jesus and God. She leaves the place behind and starts walking down the road. She eventually enters a bar and sits down for a drink. The bar owner allows the bartender to serve her a juice. The owner notices that Alice is from the Catholic camp, and she also knows that Alice is clearly not in a good mood. She tells Alice that she was also a Catholic for a while, but after living an adventurous life in the 70s, she left the religion behind. She says that she understands how someone feels when they're scared of going to hell for even doing things like eating too much candy. Her words give Alice a lot of confidence, because she has been feeling the same things. She opens up to her, and they both have a great chat. The woman then offers Alice a lift back to the camp. As she's dropping her off, she tells Alice to enroll in colleges on the east and west coasts so that she can experience more of life. The next morning, Alice decides to not sit with Laura. Instead, she joins another girl for breakfast. It turns out that the girl is from a much normal family, and Alice has fun talking to her. As the students gather for their final meeting, Laura apologizes to Alice by saying that apparently it was Wade who used Murphy's computer because Murphy found Wade's bracelet on his desk. Just then, Murphy comes out with Wade and asks every student to share what they learned during this camp. Wade goes first and says he feels bad for doing something sinful. Alice knows he's lying, but she goes along with the story. After Wade, she goes up on the stage and tells everyone to be honest. She says that she knows everyone is hiding something, and if they truly believe in their religion, they should be open about it instead of being hypocrites. After returning home, she has a chat with her dad about going to college, and he wants her to attend the state college that's only 40 minutes away. 
but Alice doesn't want that, so she applies to colleges all over the country. The next time she goes to school, she notices Chris who is trying to hide from her. She goes up to him and apologizes for coming on to him like that earlier. She says that she still wants to be friends, and Chris accepts her apology. During confession that day, she tells Father Murphy that she saw people making love to each other during the camp. She then explains the video that Murphy was watching, and after hearing it, Murphy's face loses all color. He still asks her to repent for watching something bad, but instead of doing so, she goes home and starts watching Titanic. The film ends with Alice rewinding to the scene in the film while pleasuring herself.